good afternoon uh good day my name is deji i'm a student in the united kingdom i'm invited here to come and speak or not to get the student visa thank you guys hi welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i've had a very interesting week okay weeks so far and it's been i'm going to do a different video talking about my life updates my jobs and all that this this video is about something else something very important we are having a guest our first guest on this channel mm -hmm. <laughs> is an international student is currently studying um for his master's degree in a university in united kingdom and i've been getting questions about um you know student visas how does one get to go about it and i feel like i'm not in the perfect position to talk about it since i'm not a student so welcome my new guest hi mr dtg welcome to this um welcome to this youtube channel yeah welcome thank you yeah so he's a little bit shy yeah. on camera yeah. but behind the scene he has been talking he has been very excited about this so um I feel like we should go straight to the video. So, um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, <coughs> well, you don't have to collect it from me. Just okay. Yeah. Um, um, my name is Adedeji, like you said earlier. I'm a student in the, um, one of the university in the UK, and what's the name of the university? Yeah, uh, University of Uddersfield. University of Uddersfield. Yes. Interesting. Um, what are you studying currently? Um, I'm studying logistic and supply chain management. Ooh. Yes, it's very it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, okay. Wow. Um, you might be wondering who is this person? This is my husband. Hey. <laughs> I don't know why we're acting brand new, but yes. yeah, this is my husband and he's a student. I'm his dependent. So it's just easier to have him here to talk about this. So let's just jump right into the questions. Okay. Okay. First question. Okay. What is this particular visa called? Um, it's called a tier four visa or a student visa. Um, this is visa given to people who come to the country to come and study. I'm not the talker today. I'm just, you know, I'm the interviewer. Okay. So, um, the second question, how do you apply for a student visa? Um, you apply for a student visa when you get the, when you have admission already and you have paid your de deposit and you have been given cash and you have all the necessary documents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, in this segment, we're going to have a conversation about, you know, applying for a student visa. So, <clears throat> they're just going to tell us about the step, the first step, because I like my previous video, which I'm going to link here, I made sure I gave enough information, but in a way that was concise, so we're not, you know, all over the place. So, with this video, we're going to do exactly the same thing. First of all, you have to uh, make research online, use Google, about the school you want to go, the course you want to study, and particularly, I would advise you not to go, to, not to choose schools in towns, yeah. and yeah. go to cities, explore. Yeah. Don't just sit down in one corner and be saying UK is boring. Okay, so I'm going to talk a bit about that. Yeah, so our advice to go to the city, you wouldn't know until you get here that it's easier to get um, jobs in cities compared to towns because cities obviously have more opportunities yes. than, you know, going to stay in towns. Yes. And it's not like you are belittling towns. No, it's just that it's obvious. You know, you are a newcomer mm -hmm. and 
before you can know your way in and out it will take time yeah but if you're in a city you have all this association Yoruba association uh black association indian association i have yeah. many french vetman indian i go to many associations as they like so far i'll just give them namaste <laughs> i don't enter <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, so I agree with what I'm sending my baby, but we are being serious. I agree with what DJ said. You limit, no, don't limit. Okay, open your um, because at the end of the day, this is your decision to make, but open your um, search, broaden your search, don't limit yourself to um, small towns. Go try out schools in there are a lot of schools in the UK, many schools. So don't just um click on schools that are in a town, a small town in it. You get because you when you start your school, you will need a job. And most of these jobs are in other, you know, they're in other cities. And if you when you're living in a town, which we, we are experiencing now, can you talk about a bit about your jobs and how how much it costs you to actually get to your job business. yes um i work in the nearest city, uh, city which is leeds i stay in a sub town in a town called othersfield so, so i have to go most of the times i don't have jobs here because i work with the agency they have work in the town so i have to go take train or bus so that's extra mm-hmm. more extra money i pay at least 100 pounds for transportation every month so to cut that expenses and have it in your pocket you have to stay in the city, stay in the city. Yeah. Ash, hashtag stay in the city <laughs> once you have decided to choose your school mm-hmm. then you apply mm-hmm. if you want to apply you have to have your bachelor degree on grant or hnd anyone you have you have to have your cv your personal statement, personal statement and uh, mm-hmm two reference letter one academic and one uh, professional. professional so you once can, yeah oh, well you can also get those two references from your lecturers it doesn't have to be you know not everybody's working yeah. so you might not be able to get a professional reference letter yeah you in my get, own my, my lecturers two lecturers wrote it for me i'm a very good student then so moving on you apply to the schools and when you're applying to schools i don't want you to limit your option to only one school yes. have at least two or three ba- uh, backup so if a doesn't give you admission b will give you admission there's even a school that is messaging me currently <laughs> that the admission i've applied to since last, since year. last year like almost a year they just asked me to divide now that they're having a lot of strength so if you are if you want to apply make it early okay all right so thank you for answering your our questions no. i want to ask you when they eventually get the admission letter yes um what is the next step for them to take um you know admission when you have been given admission it is of two type yeah. condition and unconditional Unconditional means conditional. yeah unconditional means maybe you just have to pay the school fees directly all your all your credentials are very correct and you don't have any problem whereby whereas um conditioner probably remain a document they need or maybe they are they need to verify your document for example um they might you might submit your yx certificates and they might be saying maybe you submit for the copy that they need original or your transcripts you are submitting um they said uh, they need to contact the school by themselves to yeah. check if it's original and uh, sometimes the condition might be to pay a certain amount of deposit into the account before you can be given unconditional offer yeah yeah so thank you for you, you know welcome. clarifying that <laughs> now just moving on to the step two yes. after you know finally getting that unconditional admission letter yes what is the next step um finally getting an offer mm-hmm. um, i would say ease of two some school do interview for you before they ask you to go and pay for deposit whereas some just 
ask you to pay directly. So it depends on the school you choose and where do you want where you want to go. All right. Um, we've also heard of some schools saying that you should pay initial deposits before yes. you know they can give you that um, next cast letter, which you're going to you know get into in a few minutes. Yes. So, in your own case, yes. How much did you pay as an initial deposit? Um, I paid two thousand five hundred pounds. Yes. Yeah. So, um, to buttress that, um, international students are usually given like a scholarship, yes. like so you they give you like a discount. Um, most of your master's degree, you pay like. How much? Like I think fifteen thousand. Yes, yes. Fifteen thousand pounds, sixteen thousand. But depending on the course. Yes. But how much scholarship were you given? I was given four thousand. Yes. So that meant you paid. I paid twelve thousand pounds. Yes. Yes. So I think it's very important for us to talk about price and cost because most people don't like to talk about it but i mean if you know the amounts you are going to be paying you you can start getting prepared and not searching all over the internet trying to find the answers to that i think that's why we are here yes, yes. so after paying the initial deposits what did the school offer you they offer me an unconditional offer yeah and after a week i was given cash can you tell us a little bit about CAS? Um, let me say, CAS means the school accepted you and they are ready to sponsor you for a stay in the United Kingdom. Yeah. So, in my previous video, I talked a bit about CAS, a CAS letter that is CAS letter that I used during my own application. The thing is, it's very very i think it's more important than your admission letter yes. you need a cast letter it contains a number like a set of code. digits a, a code a code that they need during your visa application so your school needs to give you a cast letter they have to yes i have not seen any school you know yes. that wouldn't yes so i feel like we're both just saying about this because you know yeah flu all right so after you get your cast letter yes. what next after okay after uh, you have been given a cast letter mm -hmm. um there is something you have to go to iom to do your medicals yes so after your medicals you walk to the you apply for visa um can you tell us a little bit about iom for the um the new listeners who are going to be seeing this video Okay, uh, IOM is a health center where the UK government approved for medical checkup, and the medical checkup is tuberculosis check. Ja. Where did you do your IOM? I did mine at um, Abuja. Abuja. I did mine at Lagos because me, I don't have money for flights. Upo. He is very rich. Me, I don't have money for flights. But well, anyway, um, can you tell us about the process? the uh, IAM process within the premises uh first of all you go online you register you get appointment and you pay i think it's fifty eight thousand five hundred, roughly sixty thousand. and on your appointment day you are expected to come along with your receipt printed to the IOM, IOM center and although they always write it that you should follow your appointment date but you know say as we will be we be you know now <laughs> so don't follow your appointment date too. Ah, follow your appointment date to go that day and no fo follow the appointment day don't, don't follow, follow the, the time, time. <laughs> yeah, sorry <laughs> as we be we we will get on here yeah <laughs> so go on yeah, time yeah. nigerians understand now so, go on time go on time mm -hmm. because my own in abuja i went uh according to uh, yeah, appointment schedule the time given i have to go again the second day to collect my certificate because uh we have we, a lot of people are there and you know all this uh, a family might come with five people seven people yeah. eight people imagine i'm picking number 78 oh i'm <laughs> <on> my sofa <laughs> mine was 
I think it was relatively easy. I got my certificate that same day. So there were a lot of people, but I got there 6 a.m. <laughs> that was because you dropped early. Exactly. <laughs> I was dropped early. Uh, yeah. Thanks to me. Thanks. Baby, you're not even there. I asked them. It was Israel that drop. took me. Shout out to Israel if you are watching this. I asked them, drop my babe at IOM at 6 o'clock before <laughs> you go to Ibadan. He was already in the UK, so I had to sort myself out. Okay. <laughs> So, um, moving on, after getting your IOM certificate, yeah, yeah. before you get that certificate, you have to prove that you are negative for tuberculosis. So then they'll give you the certificate. Um, before you apply for visa, yeah. you have to pay for your school fees deposit. Then, the, um, we want to do it, you use Form A. I think UBA is the best bank. I'm not, UBA, you have to sponsor me. <laughs> Give me money if you are watching UBA. Baby. Hashtag UBA is everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so UBA, you have to give money. So I used to be a and it took three days. But I used for May. And then the rate was 560 per pounds to pay my deposit. Then after I paid my deposit, they gave me uh conditional offer. Oh conditional offer. They gave me my um as then which i am now going to use to apply for visa so um moving on to the next question what next um after getting the admission you know after getting your medical certificates how do you now apply for the tier 4 visa okay um as for me yeah i use an agent yes think it's important that we talk about that yes because i don't want to make mistake i don't want to cry <laughs> or after all the money i've spent and somebody's is that is an expert is offering me yeah, a, 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 a little token so yeah. i'm just like oh you're gonna do it if you make mistake you pay my money sharp sharp no <laughs> no, no voila. yeah but some some of my friends they did it themselves so it's very easy according to them if you can tell you see it's okay to you <laughs> It's okay. okay, and it's okay with you. Uh, like you want to tell you, see, if you have spare money, you know. But um, baby, what do you advise? Um, actually, it's fifty fifty, baby. But okay. well, I I use an agent, and he feel everything. Even I think I feel everything because he sent it back to me. I should check. Yeah. I have to do everything yeah, again. Yeah. So, but I not yeah. So he paid for IHS. He paid for visa fee. Wait, sorry. He did not pay like his money. Is your money? Let me get the money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm you the... just oh you, you so you hire him to do yes, the application I, I, for I, you. I sent him the, the money. money ahead. Yeah. So after I applied for the visa application, I I was asked to go to VLC. I'll be waiting in the column. TLS. TLS, sorry, you take color, you know. You know. <laughs> so TLS. I I have an appointment with them. We have to book an appointment with them. Though people used to do working, I tried that working. I'm, uh, you know, it's your six o'clock. I don't Yeah. Talk. So um, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit about that. I think I mentioned that in my own video, talking about TLS. So TLS is um like a middleman between you and the home office in the UK. There are two offices in Lagos. Yes. There's one in Ikeja yes. and there's one in VI. I yes. did my own in VI. VI is very chilled compared to Ikeja and it's because you pay an extra fee to apply there compared to Ikeja. Yes. Where Ikeja is free, you just walk in and then you you apply you, you know. It's free but a lot of people. So because it's free, a lot of people go there yes. so it used to cause a lot of fights if you don't have appointment if you don't have appointments a, a roman pombe but in vi where i did mine he did this one in keja it was <laughs> it was stressful no you know i went for I, I wanted to try walking okay because it's december period i want to go home and be happy so i can eat my chicken <laughs> yeah, yeah. but the opportunity did not allow me yeah. so it was stressful. I I I I, I reached there around 5:30, and I was number 48. Imagine. After a few days, it reached my appointment time. I went there. So I took along my cast letter, admission letter. Um, 
Okay, uh, I mentioned it. Um, my school certificate. Uh, oh, IOM uh, certificate, certificate and passport. Very important. And uh, my IHS payment. Yes. That is because I wanted to do assistance, assist IHS service. Yeah. Because there is two type of service. Uh, self service. This is, you upload it online for them. But I don't know why my guest said I should just go. Yeah, so I'm going to talk a bit about that. Mm-hmm. So I, in, I too agree that you shouldn't do self service because you can make mistakes. Hmm? You can make mistakes. I want to upload a uh, um, your... IHS. Then you go and upload. I don't know. No, I am uh, my OM. Uh, you want to upload uh, your uh, sorry, it's a certificate. I upload your marriage certificate. You get no, any but... anything can happen. You are doing it on your own. Just don't. Because at the end of the day, even though you do self service, you still go to uh, TLS. Because they still need you to do your biometric. But you pay some 1115. Yes. So you have to pay money just so they will help you do it. But I just. Because I've gotten to, the, I've gotten to this stage finally. Mm-hmm. You not think I'll take chance. Oh. Ah, no. So, I, like I, I, so like a... After choosing an assisted service. When you get to the TLS, let me break this down, break this down so it won't be confusing. When you get to the TLS, they will ask for those documents he mentioned as a, if you are applying for a student visa, and then they will ask you, are you going to to where? Well, I went to um VI. It was very chilled. <laughs> They're like, do you need <laughs> do you need assisted service or self service? I said assisted service. Okay, that will be eleven thousand. They will take your ATM. And then they will call your ATM. You pay. And then you pay. Mm-hmm. And they will give you. They, they have three types of bags. Yeah. Black bag, that's for standard. Yeah, standard visa. Standard visa. Uh, green, green bag, bag that's, that's for priority. priority visa. And they have yellow bag. People will be wondering what is what does this bag mean? Okay. This bag is where you put in all your documents yes. that you submit yes. for scanning. Yes. So to make it organized, I guess. Yes. So they give after paying. After um, you know entering the place, you yeah. say you want assistance service or self service. Yeah. Then after paying for that, they will not give you a bag. So it's inside that bag. Yes, wait. And inside that bag, you put all your certificates. Yeah. And if you are giving being given black bag, that means your visa will take twenty one days of processing. If you are being given green bag, that means you take one week of processing. If you are being Maybe given yellow, yellow bag, bag. Yo, you have to be super rich to so do super priority. It's around four hundred thousand naira, and you will get back your results in one two, or two days. One or two days. Just go to the days. next hotel. That's China hotel. <laughs> Just go and China, China your body. Just enjoy, and they will give you back so, your results. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, when you the, when you are when you uh, get to where you thumb print, do your face scanning. They will ask you if. You are, you are willing to come and collect it back at the TLS office yeah. by yourself, or, or they send it through Korea. Sorry, to DHL. Uh, Korea like Korea service. Korea services. Mm-hmm. Okay. After that, after you have collected your visa and you have yeah. been, you have been granted. Yeah. Then. Congratulations. Of course. We're not fast. Congratulations. Bye bye. You can you can ask for my number then. <laughs> Then we can chat. I will, I will tell you to bring some things for me <laughs> yeah, from Nigeria. Bring food. <laughs> bring food. <laughs> <laughs> so after getting that, you the, the letter comes like um, your visa has been successful. Bring this letter to you when you're coming to the yes, UK. Yes, and you see this uh, um, sticker uh, on, on your, your passport, passport page. You come, that's what you show when you get to the border. Yes. And before you come, I will employ you, advise you to do um police clearance certificate. Oh yeah. It's just like five thousand or please do 000. it. So if you are working with um old people or young kids, you will need that check. And if you are if you are a Nigerian, they usually ask for your police um reports that you brought from Nigeria. Before you come get a police report in Nigeria, it's usually a thumb printing I don't know. The, yeah, it's just put, a paper, you yeah. just thumb you, and they give you the certificate. And after you have everything. Book your ticket. Book your ticket. Don't forget, call me. <laughs> bring food. Please help and us bring food. I would like to tell you something. Yeah. We did not say it. P O F. 
Yeah. So, what do you want to talk about PF? Get your PF ready. Yeah. And uh, you you use the PF in the TLS. Yes. Sorry. I'm so sorry. We forgot that. Yeah. PF. You, you need to bring a bank statement. And Continue. when you are and when you are coming to yeah. the UK, please. Wait, baby, what does PF mean? You know, it's not proof of that. fund. Yes. Proof of fund means that you have enough money to take care of yourself. Yes. Because you have no benefits yes. as an international student. Yes. UK is not responsible for your well-being, oh. so they need to know that you have enough money. Yes. You have enough money, money in your bank account before yes. you come to the country. Yes. So, um, usually it's for a, a family of one. You, since you're a student, unless you are coming in with your dependents, how much do you need? Uh, you need nine thousand five hundred pounds. <laughs> Somebody be like, is that naira? <laughs> Nine thousand naira. Nine thousand five hundred pounds. Yeah. I need. What else again? The remaining balance of your school fees. Yes, yes. Yes. In your exactly. bank account. So, so go where pure. Go where possible, actually. But yeah. I understand how hard it can be gathering on gathering the money together. But anyway, um, that's just about it. And if there's any other question that you have, just like you did in the previous video please drop comments i would answer your questions i will answer i think it's important that we talk about this and this is a this is an area of student visa it's raining student visas so catch yours if you can <laughs> what the fuck bye bye <laughs> thank you so much for coming to our um program you know green biscuits are cool, cool. um the people behind stage please give him food ah, um, hello <laughs> So thank you so much for watching my video and um, I'll get back to any questions that you have concerning this. Drop any questions. I will be able to answer. If I can answer them, I will definitely answer you. And um, thank you so much for um, 1,000 views. Please leave the light. We thank you very much. Thank you so much for 1,000 views on my dependent visa video. Thank you so much. I was like, uh -uh. 1,000 views, 1,200 views. Thank you so much. You're blocking my light. I'm not. You're blocking my light. How will I block your light? The light is in your light. So thank you so much once again for watching. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.